I want to talk here a little about color mixing. Now, I have to admit that I am a pretty mechanical thinker when it comes to color mixing. Um, when I first started painting, I tried to research what other painters use and what someone else's palette might look like. Um, there's lots of colors available when you explore them at retailers, but it seemed like a lot of portrait painters, portrait artists, um, used kind of a palette called a Zorn palette or something similar, which only had a small selection of like six or seven colors. So uh, I sort of started from that perspective and I started blending skin tones um, kind of with, um, you know, I, I, I would lean sometimes on a, a blush color that, um, that Gamblin makes, but also you can, you can kind of start with a yellow ochre and a cadmium red um, and sort of tone it up and down using titanium white, um, also using different umbers or siennas, uh, depending on, on what you need. Um, and you can kind of push it in different directions in that way. Uh, make make tone, the tone darker, make it more brown, make it more reddish. Um, you can kind of push it in the direction that you need to go. And I've been leaning on that, that core group of colors um, for a lot of the past year. So one of the things um, that I tried to do with this painting that's on screen and also with uh, some others lately is I really would like to now get a little more adventurous with my color selection. So some of the recent landscape paintings that I've done, I tried to use brighter colors to make the paintings visually more interesting, but I also want to get a little brave, a little more brave with uh, just the skin tones themselves. Um, stop trying to, I feel like I, I worry a little too much about how something's going to, um, something that's outside of my comfort zone, how it's going to look like putting too bright of a hue in an area or too red of a hue or, um, something like that. Like if it's, if it's not a brown or a beige, I tend to get a little scared. So, um, I want, I want to get a little I want to get more brave about that though. So uh, this painting, I, I think I did a good job of, of branching out from my comfort zone a little bit. Um, I hope it comes through here in this video. I think it does. I used some reds, some, some fairly bright reds, but I also leaned on blue. Um, I thought that would be kind of fun to to add some, some blue hues to this thing. Um, so this, although probably to the art enjoyer or viewer out there, this, this might not look like anything special or particularly interesting, but to me, this is more bold than I'm used to in just a basic portrait, a uh, basic portrait study. There's a lot of blue here. Um, that's kind of unusual for me. So um, that was kind of fun. So I'm going to keep pushing on this. I need to keep pushing myself out of my comfort zone. So hopefully more to come like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.